Now this, my friends, this is the way to start off 2022. If video game news is going to be like this on day one, then I can't imagine what the rest of the year is shaping up to be because it looks like GoldenEye 007 is potentially coming to the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. And this is a huge story that there's a lot of layers to uncover with this. So I want to get right into it. I hope everyone had a very good New Year's Eve. Me personally, I watched the Knicks lose and then I took some sleeping medicine and I went to bed at like 1230. But nobody cares about that. We care about GoldenEye 007 and the potential of it leaking for the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. So if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. But without any further ado, let's get into the story because really there's a lot of layers that go into this because GoldenEye 007 is a very complex game. Of course, this game originally came out on the Nintendo 64 back in 1997 and it revolutionized home console first person shooters because of the fact that you had the N64 controller and you had the, uh, uh, the local multiplayer in this game that was just so addicting. Yes, Perfect Dark potentially did it better. It had better graphics and had more stuff to do with the online play or the uh, local multiplayer and it potentially ran a little bit better as well but for me personally GoldenEye 007 was the game it was the game that I cared about it was the game that I wanted to play because that's where my nostalgia tied into back and you know in my early 20s when we'd all be drinking and stuff like that and you bust out the N64 you played GoldenEye 007 you didn't play Perfect Dark at least that's how it was with my circle of friends but GoldenEye 007 was of course originally supposed to come out in some sort of capacity on the Xbox One. Now, there's been lots of leaks about this. The version of the game is actually potentially fully done, but of course, with a movie licensed game and a game that was done by Rare exclusively for the Nintendo 64 that had Nintendo's help in it, there is a ton of red tape. Now, you can actually play that full version of the game online right now. You could download it and run an emulator to play it, and it's a very fun game. You know, it looks really good. It's obviously just an HD remaster of the the original GoldenEye game and I think it plays really well it looks really good too and it's a lot of fun but that game never came out on the Xbox and when you look at what Xbox was doing at that time frame when that was supposed to come out it's very different than what they're doing now but now it looks like GoldenEye 007 is indeed coming to the Xbox platforms along with the Nintendo Switch now this information was posted last night by Wario 64 over on Twitter great Twitter account does lots of video game news lots of video game sales and stuff like that I highly recommend you guys check them out but this information is is pretty telling as far as when this game is going to come out because it looks like it's coming out very soon so taking a look at the information here we can see hey there are achievements now for GoldenEye 007 on an Xbox list or Xbox achievement list for the game and you can see like these are these are actual achievements run complete the dam on any difficulty different time lengths of when you are going to complete it fly away dual wielding beat the levels in certain times and i mean like this is an, an official list like this is a legitimate list and you can just look at it and all of it makes sense there are 55 goldeneye 007 achievements worth the 1000 gamer score you can see the thumbnails for these as well and like i mean that, that's goldeneye Th th those those are golden eye levels this is golden eye 007 there's a thumbnail for the game as well with pierce brosnan on here which is very interesting because you might remember golden eye 007 did sort of get a pseudo remake sort of a reimagining i feel on the uh playstation 3 and the nintendo wii and they actually put in daniel craig who was james bond at that time you can see here there's some more thumbnails of the levels and we can take a look at the game how the graphics are going to look and according to exo phase this is an xbox one title so obviously it would be enhanced for the xbox series x so to me, there, there's really no question of what's going on here. A GoldenEye 007 remaster, that probably original game that we saw that was available that leaked on the PC and you could play it on your PC is indeed coming to the Xbox platform of systems, whether it's the Xbox One, your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X. So like pretty much black and white clear as crystal right there. I don't, I don't think there's really much debate about what's going on with this. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, what the hell does this have to do with the Nintendo Switch? And that, my friends, is where things get very, very interesting because 
I don't see Nintendo allowing this game to release on the Xbox platforms without it coming to the Nintendo Switch either. Now, you might remember, like I said, with that original GoldenEye 007 remake, Nintendo actually signed off on that going to the Xbox platforms. The main thing, the main holdup was basically with like the movie stuff and having Pierce Brosnan in there. Of course, you have to go to MGM for the actual movie title itself. All those licenses ran out and stuff like that. So that was the major holdup, but Nintendo actually signed off on it, allegedly, for that to come out on the Xbox One back in the day, but looking at the video game landscape, it's very different now than it was back then. Back then, you had things like Rare Replay come out right alongside of the Xbox One, which were a compilation of a bunch of N64 games and, of course, other Rare titles available on the Xbox One, but Xbox is in a different position now. They're not in that position where, you know, they're going head to head with PlayStation. They're going in a roundabout direction with things like Game Pass. Nintendo themselves, a completely different situation than they were back in that time frame because now they have things like the N64 Switch Online, which is obviously something very important that they are wanting to tout. So I can't imagine. I can't imagine Nintendo just being like, oh, okay, take one of the best N64 games of all time and put it on the Xbox. Don't worry about us. We don't need this game on our system. So that to me just doesn't make sense. Now, this is obviously an HD remaster of the game, which when you play your games on your Nintendo Switch on the online portion of it for the N64, it's not those sorts of things. So what would happen there? Would essentially Xbox get the superior version, the HD remaster and the Nintendo Switch maybe they're going to get the original N64 version via the online expansion pack. I mean, maybe, but once again, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because you're chowding this N64 online service that includes rare games. I mean, Banjo-Kazooie is going to be on there. Look at the relationship between Microsoft and Nintendo right now. Like I said, it's very different than when this game was originally supposed to release on the Xbox One. So would you want the inferior version on your console considering this is your game? You, you helped develop this game. Nintendo of America employees helped make GoldenEye 007. That just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm thinking, and I could be completely wrong on this, maybe it is just for the original Xbox or the Xbox platforms, and that would just, you know, take a shit on what Nintendo is doing with the N64 stuff. But I'm thinking maybe this is something like we saw with Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. Now, Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, of course, was originally an N64 game. It got an HD remaster. I think all of the Turok games did. Turok 1, 2, and 3. I don't know. I never really played 2 and 3 that much. I was more a fan of the first game. But those games got HD remasters and then released as a multi-platform release. And yes, you could pick that up on the Switch. You could pick that up on the Xbox. So something like that makes a bit more sense to me, making it its own entity, making it something that you can just buy rather than getting it on the N64 online expansion pack and playing the vanilla version of the game. Whereas this is the HD remaster with improved things like improved frame rates, because let's be real, some of those frame rates in GoldenEye 007 are definitely very lacking. But I feel like Nintendo has to get a piece of the pie with this because if not, if this game, if GoldenEye 007 just comes out on the Xbox, the N64 online expansion pack and Nintendo doing N64 related stuff on the Switch is a joke. It's an absolute joke because if you go back to my original videos, I've been saying like, where's GoldenEye? I need GoldenEye. GoldenEye is the game that's going to put a lot of time into that. Playing GoldenEye online with my friends, playing the multiplayer is going to be so much fun. And for Nintendo to let one of the flagship titles for the N64, one of the best selling games on the N64, a game that they helped create and a game that they revolutionized a genre for on home console first person shooters to just be on the Xbox because Rare owns that IP. If I'm Nintendo, I'm saying no. I'm saying no, I'm the hold up now. I'm gonna be like, no, you're not putting that game out on the Xbox and we're not putting it out on our platform. So to me, it has to come out on at least the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. Maybe it doesn't come out on the PlayStation variety of systems, which I think makes sense because PlayStation has nothing to do with this. Xbox owns Rare. Nintendo is Nintendo. This is an N64 game. PlayStation is completely out of the equation, but it needs to come out on the Xbox. It needs to come out on the Nintendo Switch because if it doesn't come out on both of those platforms, if it just comes out on the Xbox, like, 
that's it that don't even mess with n64 stuff on the nintendo switch anymore because nintendo you have dropped the ball you have dropped the ball you got caught with your pants down and your hand in the cookie jar why were your pants down when you're getting a cookie i don't know maybe you got a kinky fetish like that but yeah obviously something is happening with this you know i don't think someone's going to go through the trouble of making an achievement list that are actual achievements having thumbnails for these achievements having a box you know a box art for it without there being some sort of smoke to this fire so it looks like at least for now at least for now goldeneye 007 has leaked for the xbox family of systems but i'm throwing in the nintendo switch as well because there's no way in hell nintendo is allowing this game to go onto the xbox without a version coming out on their platform unless unless they're just idiots unless they are just idiots so those are my thoughts that's sort of the update on what's going on with this game right now let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below is this a game you have nostalgia for is this a game you want to play and do you think that it is going to come out on both the xbox and the nintendo switch because like i said it just it makes no sense it makes no sense for Nintendo to allow this just to be an Xbox exclusive, even though it is a rare game. Like I said, we have rare games on the uh, Nintendo Switch. We have rare games coming with Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie is in freaking Smash Brothers. You need to put Goldeneye on the system as well. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Like I said, I hope everyone had a very happy New Year's Eve celebration. Stayed safe. Didn't, you know, do anything stupid or anything like that. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Be sure to check out the secondary channel. I'm going to do a little update on what to expect on different channels that I have. I guess just the two channels. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. My throat's getting dry. Later.